must be a very special occasion to be reunited with such a such special memories from uh, what was the, the closest finish ever at Le Mans. But can you tell us a little bit about how you got to that point, the strategy of the team, and how you were going to beat the horses that year? Well, to be sitting in the car that we won 50 years ago uh, is a treat anyway. Here at Gilbert. But the strategy was the GT40 was, of course, very successful in the fall at Le Mans. But of course, she was becoming a bit of an old, reliable lady. And Porsche had cars that were quicker. So the team had a strategy and asked the drivers to drive at seven tenths because of uh, petrol consumption, tyre wear, and particularly brake wear. So we had soft application on the first application at the end of the North South Australia at 220 miles an hour. Uh, and still we had managed our late brake, keep a lap time up, I think, of 326. But save two pit stops, particularly to change pads, and one fuel stop. And that allowed us to be in front of that turn at the end of the race to win. So yes, the team strategy and the drivers driving a bit slower than they could do won the day. And it was um, it was particularly so the, the brakes and the fuel really came in to importance at the end because of that Jackie X attack Herman at the at the end of the race. Well, Jackie walked across the track as a, as a star as a protest to the Oswald the drivers around the course. So we came round last. So that helped the close finish at the end of 24 hours. Thank you, Jackie. Uh, uh, but also because we had a big stop. Attention, Paddock. Uh, Would all drivers and teams please pay attention to the five mile an hour speed limit? I have the MSA scrutineer stood next to me, and if anybody on a motorbike goes too quickly again, they will have their helmet taken off them. And the same goes for the car. Please don't drive quickly on the return to your paddock shelters. Thank you. So a, a pad change after my school gave Jackie fresh pads and we knew the Porsche had changed pads long before. So the closing laps, Jackie took his moment for Mr. Alfred Herbert who was suffering poorly with a long pedal. And of course he did that not knowing when the finish was going to be at four o'clock. Uh, so he, he was in front at that stage and had to be in front on the most important lap in the last lap. Consistent driving, uh, having brakes at the end of the race, the So, uh, of course, it's no tele not, not the telemetry we're, we're used to today back then. The race was based on 24 hours plus one lap. Uh, it must have been such a difficult thing to judge, and of course, the judgment after all those beautiful tactics was slightly out. Made for a nervous extra lap. Well, the guys now, of course, the cars are much stronger, so they don't have to do that. They drive flat out with three drivers. We do it with two. No radio communication, just pit bulls. So there's no way of knowing whether you're a four o'clock or not. The fact that it was only like six or seven seconds, which caused Jackie to do additional lap. Now they have full data inflow in the cars. I don't know whether I would like that very much. Someone talking to me while I was driving was there, it would have put me off. The young guys are used to it. So. Now it's a different game. And the uh, the, 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 the extra breaks that uh, Jackie had, that's what let him that's what let him attack at the end. He he he'd had the whole the whole plan was in place when to pass. Well, the, the, the full chicane before the start finishing line, uh, arriving after the White House curves, is still doing 180 miles an hour. So if you've got better brakes, uh, you can pick your moment. And hence, I suppose you could have played dirty, but they didn't. And, uh, and it's still uh, Also, I mean, both Jackie and I were very similar in, in the speed in the cars. So, uh, the last lap, you still have to be somewhere in the frame. The other 23 hours and 49 minutes uh, in a position where you could actually have weight on it. So, the whole strategy worked very well. Except for the late start of Jackie. So, uh, can you tell us where were you for that last hour of the race, and what uh, and, uh, and what were you doing? Well, I would have preferred to be in the car. <laughs> you know, that's the thing is about the morning. You're sharing with someone, uh, and you want to start and you want to finish, but you have to work to team orders and 
Jackie did a good job, so I was on there hoping that Jackie was going to do what was needed, knowing that he had good brakes, knowing that he was a very capable driver, and that in the end he was a good Would I like to have finished the race? Certainly. I did a spa with a 917. And in Sebring, we this, this car won Sebring 12 hours, I just before, so I was at the end there. So any victory for the team is important, but also it's an individual sport, and you know, your own performance does count. And was it, was it a nervous hour of your life? Was it the most nervous hour of your life? Were you in the motorhome on the pit wall? Or how, did you, uh, how did you spend that last, that last part of the race? The Le Mans 24 hour has a track in there. Because it was such a close finish, and there was some doubt who was going to win. The track invasion was huge, and there's some great black and white photographs of Jackie and I on the car with a bottle of champagne, with just a sea of faces around us, the mechanics, uh, girlfriends. Uh, a lot of race builds up tension, as you just mentioned, but that makes the picture even sweeter. And to be re reunited with the car this weekend, and with Jackie, I mean, how does that feel? What kind of emotions does that stir? Well, to be behind the wheel and to drive it up the hill, which I will do tomorrow, is another trick. The car has been well prepared. It's been, it's been in the museum. And the trouble is museums, you don't see the thing in action. So for everybody to see it and the drivers to be able to drive it here at Goodman is an extra special treat. So I'm really looking forward to it. And does that kind of experience with Jackie, does that, does that lead to a lifelong friendship? Are you, you guys still friends? We are. We had a great time at Le Mans a, a couple of weekends ago. To be reunited. I don't see him that often, so that when we've got an occasion where there's a celebration of our victory, it is great. Uh, Jackie went on to win five more times. Right? And I said, well, you've got to go do this five more times. This is your first win, and it was my last, because I only did Le Mans twice. So my average is better than his. I think he did it 20 times in one five time. I did it twice in one once. <laughs> you always got to have one of those in this business. Beautiful. That's, that's great. Um, one more thing. If we could just get some shots of you kind of just looking.